uh, between Eccleston and Eccleston Park and Mount St Helens. Um, obviously, we'll get them a full and detailed response um, to that, but there's a few things that I want to say first and foremost is that obviously uh, we don't control the whole of the bus network, it's currently deregulated and that gives us a number of challenges in the fact that we cannot tell or even a stagecoach uh, what they can and can't deliver and where they should be routing their buses, which leaves us with one hand tied behind our back. Secondarily, because of the cuts that all of us across the city region have experienced because of the government, we've got a hell of a lot less money uh, than we once did and I never fail to point out the fact in real terms we have lost a third of our budget. The last time transport spend was at this level in this region was the early 1990s. So because of that we've got a lot less money to spend and we're not able to provide as many of those subsidised and supported services as we genuinely want to. And that makes life really difficult even before we haven't got the luxury of being able to take revenue from successful routes and use that to cross subsidise the um, socially necessary and supported uh, routes. Now obviously we've done a lot to make sure that no part of our region has been left without a bus service, but we fully acknowledge that some of the direct services that have been in place previously we can no longer afford to do. So whilst people can still get around, we acknowledge unfortunately for some people to make the end-to-end -end journey involves a number of, of interchanges. And we'll include that in the response. The other bit that I want to mention, I'm really, really not happy about this, and you know, you can give me your views if, if you feel the same. Um, I've had a, a copy of the leaflet that's gone out in Eccleston. It's a, a Liberal Democrat focused leaflet mentioned about the bus service. And on the back, it's got a petition, you know, standard political leaflet. And I know, Jeff, you're one of the war councillors who's got your name on it. The bit I'm um, really, really angry about, frankly, because I think it's banging out the line, as well as a petition, completely fine. There is also a box how you can respond directly to mercy travel. Absolutely fine. Not a problem with this organisation taking direct responses. It's not my details that are on there. It's not Ron's details that are on there. It's not John's details, Frank Rogers' details. It's not anyone in senior capacity. You put on your leaflet the details, not just the name, but the email address, the desk phone number, and the mobile phone number of a junior officer who works in the bus department. And I think that's bang out the line. Not least because Councillor Michael Hoare, who submitted this, was warned last year because he did a similar stunt. So much so, it led to the officer involved having to change their mobile phone number because of some of the kind of responses that were, were coming.